chapter or section 2.3 electric potential 231 introduction to potential um, this is where he walks through and he just explains what potential is and where it comes from and it's it's you know to be honest if if you've understood anything that the Helmholtz theorem told you uh, if you understood um, you know that a field defined by a divergence in a curl has some certain you know uh, vector potential and scalar potential, you'd say, okay, what's the scalar potential of the electric field? And, you know, here we are. This is the scalar potential of the electric field, or just called the electric potential. So we start off with the basic idea that since the electric field must have a curl of zero, there's you can't invent a, an electric field with non-zero curl, okay? Since it must be zero, then we have this concept that over any closed path, E vector dot DL must be zero. And that's kind of Stokes' theorem uh, with the curl and everything like that. We've, we've kind of walked through that proof already. Um, now, because it's zero, that means that, let's say we take two arbitrary points A and B, and one, one way we go like doo -doo 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 -doo, this way towards B, and then we go back doo -doo 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 -doo, some other path towards A. Okay? And so because there's no curliness in this field, that taking the path this way and then subtracting the path that way will always get you zero. It will always get you zero. Um, so, because the integral uh, of e dot dl is independent of path, it doesn't matter which path you take, we can assign a scalar value, given some point, to be defined by negative of the electric field dot dl to that point, starting from, and we're going to draw a curly O here, okay? Um, and what is that curly O? It's just a reference point that we've all agreed beforehand. That's where we're going to start when we calculate this integral for calculating the potential. So we just are some arbitrary reference point. Um, depending on what problem you're using, there's some reference points that you'd rather use than others. And P is the the position of which you're calculating the scalar field, uh, the the vector poten I'm sorry, the scalar potential um, V. Okay. And the minus sign. Where did the minus sign come from? Well, a long time ago when Benjamin Franklin was rubbing amber rods with cat's fur. Um, he decided one was positive and one was negative, and unfortunately he chose wrongly. There's no way he could have known that um, one was supposed to be minus, one was supposed to be plus to make the math easy. He chose it that way, and frankly, it kind of doesn't matter. Um, just, we just have to remember to use a minus sign in the right places. In some other alternate universe, um, Benjamin Franklin chose um, the right signs, and the electric potential does not have this negative sign hanging in front of it. Um, so um, let's take the electric potential between two points. So let's say we have electric potential between from, uh, oh, he uses V of B vector minus V of A vector. And so of course the V of B vector is just equal to minus the integral from this curly O uh, vector to B vector of E vector dot DL and we uh, subtracting a negative, so we have plus the integral from curly O vector to our A vector of E vector dot DL vector, okay? And uh, that turns out that um, you can flip the sign here. So let's do that. So we have negative this of O to B of E vector dot DL vector uh, minus, we're gonna flip the direction here, so we go from A vector to O vector of E vector dot dl vector and that is going to be actually the integral for, uh, from a oh I forgot some vector signs but I'm sure you know where they go of e vector dot dl vector so in many ways the origin point that we use uh, is not important it's you know and, and if you're just calculating the potential difference between two points it just falls out you don't even it doesn't matter what point you choose you don't have to even choose a point um, now, the interesting thing is that uh, the vector, the fundamental theorem for gradients, um, way back when, if we studied the fundamental theorem for gradients, you'll remember that the, the, the gradient of some scalar field uh, renders a, a, a the, basically, uh, let's walk through it again one more time. Okay, so the rule is, so we have this V of B vector minus v of a vector is equal to the integral from a to b of the uh, electric field dot dl vector, right? Well, this can also be the integral from a to b 
of the divert the gradient of this vector potential dot dl vector and on the left side um, this is basically the integral uh, from of that field from a to b so that's well yeah um, so that is that is equal to these two are equal to each other so a to b of e vector dot dl is uh, oh actually do I have it wrong here I have a minus sign somewhere I need to put a minus sign in uh, I'll put it here okay so that is the this is basically what a vector potential or what an electric potential is defined by integrals and you know everything else is the same except for the contents and so we have this little fo formula e vector is equal to the gradient of v minus the gradient of v and this my dear friend is the result that you've been waiting for what in the world does this mean um, we're going to discuss that in the second the section coming after this but hopefully um, your mind should be exploding at the possibilities of what you're going to do with this newfound knowledge of the electric potential. Thanks for your time.